So, uh, the question we were asking ourselves before to start is, is it possible using some neurons or machine, here yeah, some few GPU, uh, to create a model able to read a composite log or a formation evaluation log as a geologist? If you can do that, you can index your document, you can extract information. So what means reading a composite log and unstructured documents as a geologist? At minimum for us, it was meaning that to be able to read uh, the, the, the little column, uh, to detect uh, some show symbols here, uh, to understand what, what is the text in this funny paragraph where a gray sandstone is something like SST column <coughs> uh, GRY, impossible text like that. And, and finally, uh, once all these detections are done, uh, to locate this detection not only in pixel in the document, because the geologists don't care so much about the pixel in the documents, but in depth along the well. So what, that was a challenge. Uh, we didn't know uh, if it was achievable or not. And we have been participating to some hackathon like the one yesterday, trying to, to make some first prototype, uh, uh, trying to solve this, uh, this issue. But we have been very much encouraged by a company you know here, uh, Equinor, uh, who, who asked us to, to, to show us uh, what is possible to do using a prototype. And they have explained us, encouraging, encouraging us uh, because they say that uh, uh, composites are for them some, uh, some key document because it's a good synthesis of a measurement observation done by uh, the wayside geologist at the time of drilling. And frequently, uh, this information is not so well used just because it's frequently stored in a stupid PDF and that is not a machine readable format. So, uh, First, at first, we'll see the, the, the way we have tried to solve this problem. Uh, we, the, we have select a, a CNN architecture at first to, to, to read, to understand uh, the liturgical interval. And we have select YOLO uh, to do that, which is uh, uh, one of the CNN, uh, which is uh, very used, we'll see, for, for certain detection. Uh, second challenge was to uh, to uh, detect those uh, small description paragraph. And we have been using uh, YOLO to detect the paragraph and your classical uh, text solution, uh, IQC, to uh, OCR the contents and to uh, classify uh, the, the contents using uh, a, a bag of words technique. And finally, uh, the last step was to, uh, the last tool was to uh, uh, detect uh, some depth mark in the composite and, and finding a relation, <coughs> using that, finding a relation between the pixel and the, and the depth measurements. And for that, we have used also some classical text method uh, to, to pick up this, uh, th those values and locate those values uh, in, in the composite. A few words about YOLO. YOLO, it's, uh, it's a CNN network. Uh, very widely used for uh, 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 detecting patterns, graphic patterns in picture or in video. In video, because it's a it's a fast system. Maybe not, maybe not the the more accurate according <coughs> to the recent benchmark. But it has a particularity either to go very fast, to train very fast, or uh, also to 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 train on a small architecture. And it was important for us to, uh, to, to make this prototype on a, on a lean environment because uh, we were not sure it will work, so it's better to, to fail from a, a cheap environment than from an expensive one. And also, using a, a tight environment oblige you uh, to see rapidly uh, the limits of, uh, of your prototype and what are the main factor, factor limiting uh, the accuracy of your model. Um, okay. Um, on, the, on the right, you see what has been YOLO designing for. If you, if you download YOLO uh, from, from Darknet, and you can immediately 
Classy, uh, try to make some detection on your holiday picture. Uh, it has been trained for that, it has been designed for that, and it's very good, you know, distinguish uh, uh, your children or a boat or a bicycle, a car, or, or, or picture on, on video. Applying that to, uh, to composite is, was a little bit challenging because uh, a, a pattern like a, like a person on a picture, you know, is something that I will not say it's easy to detect, but all the person look like similar, you know, they, they are in a more or less vertical uh, rectangle, they have two arms, two, 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 two legs, uh, they, they are similar, so you can tr imagine to train a system distinguishing. Uh, if you are trying to do the same on a clay stone or a seal stone like here, uh, you will rapidly discover that uh, the same seal stone can be, can be symbolized by this pattern, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And in addition, uh, the shape of the pattern, the, the height of the height <coughs> of the table, you know, uh, is very different to show that sometimes you have uh, a very small interval and some, some of the time a very large one. So that's the first difficulty. Another difficulty is the variety, the diversity of uh, the, the composite you may have. They may be black and white documents or color documents, and those documents may be uh, something <coughs> like uh, 10,000 pixel 8 to uh, 1 million pixel 8 if they are very long. So, and they have diff very different resolution in comparison to the, your holiday picture or your holiday video. To, do, to solve this problem, we have used our uh, classical HQC <coughs> platform, which is a, a, a machine learning system with, uh, as you know, after the end of this day, uh, a place to, to, to make a, a training and another place where you will uh, apply your detection using the model you have created at the training level. Uh, an advantage of this platform is maybe is graphic uh, user interface which allows to uh, to collect uh, the user experience when you QC the result. You can uh, every time you just validate or refute a detection or edit a detection that create a new a new label which can be taken into account uh, to update your model. Let's zoom a little bit uh, on the process to train. Uh, to train the, uh, the, the, the graphic model to detect uh, the liturgy and, and the symbols and the <coughs> description. Again, we start some very different uh, uh, documents. A, a, a huge variety in terms of format, in terms of, of, of shapes. So, in order to, to make the process possible, the first step <coughs> is to, to reduce this diversity uh, by, by uh, yes, uh, uh, transforming, converting these various format into uh, a PDF, uh, a PDF file, uh, which is page cut, cut into A4 pages, and from the PDF you can extract a, a 300 DPI uh, JPEG. So that's the, fir the first step, a kind of uh, uh, reduction of the of the diversity of format. Uh, we have select some page for training and uh, we, have, we have cut some part of the page in order to have some training image which have all the same, the same size. The training image uh, have, been, have been tagged, have been labeled, so we have <coughs> manually uh, 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 highlighted some, some pattern. And we have sent that uh, to the Yolo modeling. When we have done that, we have even reduced the size of this image, and and we have converted all this image into a grayscale. And that was mainly uh, because we were short in, in terms of memory, uh, so we have uh, we have uh, we have chosen to, to, to limit uh, the size of the of the training image. And for, for benchmarking, uh, to, to, test, uh, to test the results, we have taken exactly the same page uh, as they have been cut. 
and uh, we have tagged some reference page in order to 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 compare uh, the prediction, the detection done by the by the the CNN and and the and the reference the, um, uh, tagging done by a geology. We will now see the result for various detector, the one for the lithological interval, this is another one for the show, another detector for, for the description and so on. Let's see uh, for the first result for, for the lithology. Uh, the lithology was the more challenging to, to detect. Detecting the, the, the geological uh, interval was quite difficult. Uh, we, have, uh, we have received from a cleaner a bunch of, uh, of, uh, of composite file and, and information evaluation. And it was approximately uh, 500 documents. And we have reduced this number of documents to 300, because 200 uh, were discarded because of the, of the low resolution or the poor scanning of the documents. Uh, we have, on these 300 documents, we have tagged 3,000 something Okay, 3,000 3, something uh, liturgical interval. Uh, finally, only uh, some of them were usable because uh, the other uh, were, were occurring less, and so we, we have decided to, to model only the more, the more abad abundant uh, uh, liturgy. That's uh, vi various uh, patterns we were looking for. Okay. Uh, the, the result in terms of precision for, in average, for the liturgy was around 70 percent, which is, was not so bad. But uh, the result was very, very poor in terms of recall. So we have tried to understand why. The result was not exactly the same for all the liturgy. Uh, uh, you can see here that for the sandstone and for the claystone, the results were, were much better than for the other. And there was no magic for that. Uh, or, or, uh, or system was, was not fit enough. Uh, and it was clear that uh, you need something like 1,000 uh, labels uh, to have a, uh, a, a, an, accurate, an accurate detection. Here is some, some of the results. Uh, if you go to details, you will see that the system has been able uh, to detect uh, correctly the small interval and as miss uh, some, some large interval like that. And that just because in the training set there was much more small intervals than large intervals. So it was, uh, at this <coughs> with the training we had, it was difficult to, to detect the large one. But you see the, 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 the result, uh, a conversion of this pattern into something which is machine readable and look accurately locate uh, in, in pixel in the page. We'll go fast. Uh, for the show, uh, the show we had less labels. Nevertheless, the result was better because uh, there was less variety for the shows and for, for, for the liturgical interval. All the show, you know, are circle, uh, which uh, uh, help uh, because uh, uh, there is less variety to, uh, to, to, make, to make a detection. And you can see here, here that the, the accuracy, uh, the precision, and, and, the, and the recall was better uh, around 10,000 epoch. Okay, you can see here some, some detection of show. Next one uh, was to detect uh, the was to detect the, uh, the lit liturgical description, the geological description. Uh, we did this uh, this detection in, in two step. At first, using YOLO to detect the box, to detect the paragraph, and after analyzing the contents of the paragraph. The detection of the of the paragraph. Uh, of the small, of the small description went well. Uh, again, we 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 got with uh, 1,000 uh, label, we got uh, uh, um, an accuracy of around 80 percent. 
And uh, the semantic analysis of the contents of the box uh, went well too. So uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at this uh, uh, detection here, you see that uh, they are aligned, aligning correctly in this confusion matrix. And yes, this one is not so good, but it was maybe because some ambiguity between the description of a seal stone and, and, and clay stone. And which is, I prefer to have this, uh, this spread here than between a, a clay stone and a limestone, for example. So it was considering as acceptable. Tra transferring uh, the, the, the detection from the pixel domain to the, to the depth domain has been done by uh, at first detecting uh, some uh, numerical value and try to find the numerical value which uh, I align uh, along, along, uh, along the, <coughs> the, the, the pixel axis. So uh, if we can see that uh, this set of points here are the points, are the detection of, of the depth mark. So using this line, we have no uh, a, a pixel to depth law which uh, make possible the conversion of any detection into depth. Okay, so what's the result of that? Uh, as an input, we have start with some PDF, and uh, as an output, uh, we have a CSV file where we have uh, the automatically detect the well name, uh, detect the, uh, the some s yeah, some features, so uh, the, the liturgical interval or description or shows, and and we have located them in in depth. Okay, so I will go fast to the to the conclusion. Uh, what we have done is just a prototype. Uh, what is important for us now is to uh, work with this prototype with, with geologists to see the value of it and to see with them uh, how we can, we can improve it and how we can improve the accuracy of detection of some rare, rare uh, uh, light tape like, uh, I don't know, the dolomite and things like that. We have not been able to train for the time. Okay. Thank you.